In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to Odoo. Now, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial, and at the end of it, you'll know everything you need to know about connecting your domain. So you wanna to go to odoo.com, then go to your profile in the top right-hand corner, then go to My Databases. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and click on the Settings icon, then go to Domain Names. From here, you can go ahead and use your own domain because we've got the domain registered on GoDaddy. So go ahead and click on that. So now let's go ahead and find the domain. So on GoDaddy, go to your profile icon, go to my products, then you'll see all of your domains. If not, then just go to my account, then click on domains. So here are all of my domains. I'm gonna connect searchablehowto.com. So we'll go ahead and click on that domain. So here we are in that domain. I'm now going to copy the domain name. We're going to head back to Odoo and I'm going to type www. and then paste in the domain, which is searchablehowto.com. We can then go ahead and add these following CNAME records and I'm going to show you how you can do it and get it all set up. So we need to create a CNAME record, which is our domain pointing to our database here. So let's go to GoDaddy. We'll go to DNS. We'll then go to searchablehowto.com and basically you want to get into the backend management of your domain and you want to get to the point where you can add new DNS records. So go ahead and click add new record and then we need to add a CNAME record. So go to type, go to CNAME and then here in the name you want to type www, go back to Odoo and it's going to tell you what you need to point it to. So it's going to say pointing to and then your database here. So mine is knowledgebase-test.odoo. So we're gonna copy all of that. You'll know what to copy. It will literally be right there. You can then paste that into value and then click save. Now, if this doesn't work, it means that you've already got a record conflicting. So go ahead and find it. In my case here, it is CNAME www. Just gonna delete that one real quick. And then once it's deleted, we now should be able to save and add this one. So great, that's all done. Now, there is one more thing we need to do. We need to go to forwarding. We need to add forwarding. And here where it says searchablehowto.com, you want it to redirect to www.searchablehowto.com. Now this is obviously in my case, you will have yourdomain.com here and you want that to redirect to www.yourdomain.com. That just means if someone types in your domain without the www. it will still forward to the www. If you get what I mean, Basically, just make sure you put your whole domain in here, and then if someone searches it without the www. it will still work. Make sure it's on permanent 301, and then click save. So with that all set up, you can now go to Odoo, and you want to click verify. And if you've done that correctly, it will say DNS configuration seems good. Now, this can take a couple of minutes, so don't fret if it's red at the start and it doesn't work. Just wait a couple of minutes. Once you've done that, it says here, Odoo is going to generate a certificate automatically for you. So I'm gonna click I confirm it's done. Now this is all connected, we don't have to do anything. Now if we just go ahead and check it, it might say that there's a SSL certificate error. Yep, so we get this right. Now this is nothing to worry about because it takes around five hours for the SSL certificate to be generated by Odoo. So it says here in the Odoo blog that all we need to do is follow those steps I've just showed you and Odoo will generate the certificate for you. Now it can take up to five hours, so just be patient and your SSL certificate will be generated and your website will be working properly. If we were to just go ahead and proceed anyway, you can see that it should be working. So just be patient about this SSL error, but that's how you do it. I hope that helped you out. 